Hi everyone, we're taking a look today at a game called Clash of Clans, developed by Supercell. I will show you what the game does and actually express my opinion why I think it sucks. First of all, I got to see what this game is about and it raised my interest in reviewing it after seeing a uh, commercial by Liam Neeson, which was pretty cool, unlike the tactics behind the game. We'll get to that later. First of all, once you start the game, you have a village and you start building things. Nothing extraordinary here. So you have a base, actually a to town hall. Then you build different type of uh, cannons and and mortars and other weapons will be un unlocked further down the game you know you have archer towers so you you, you have some uh, defense structures then you have some um, resource mines you know like elixir collectors you have here uh, three types of resources you have gold you have elixir well right now and you have gems this is right from the beginning but further down the road other resources will be added for uh, gathering gold you have gold mines for gathering elixir you have elixir collectors for dark elixir which will be presented later you have other types of collectors and so on so you have defense you have resources and for attacks you have barracks that can generate different type of troops you know each one with different attributes power strength and so on and lastly you have uh, builder huts well the builders actually upgrade structures and build new ones well, the problem with uh, builders in uh, clash of clans is that you have to wait a lot for something to finish you have only two builders by default unless you purchase more with real money and for each building to upgrade after a certain level you have to wait a lot of hours you see you know 16 hours if I want to upgrade something more you know it's upgrade times like one day so basically it became after a while it becomes a game where once a day you log in you play five minutes and that's it because there's nothing more you can do you have two builders hide by default and of course you can get more but let me show you you can get more if you get diamonds 500 diamonds which are very difficult to obtain and diamonds you add by purchasing with real money or you know if you destroy if you get some achievements done you also get like 10 diamonds 20 diamonds but it's a lot to build to get 500 diamonds so there's no other way than by playing for a long time to get more builders huts to build more but otherwise you just sit in front of the game and you you know you collect some resources and that's it there's nothing more to do there's a campaign where you know you can play different levels the problem again is that once you use your troops to fight in a in a battle then those troops even if there are more some that survive you don't get back so you have to start again to build new troops and then you wait more time here because you know if you want to build something like uh, say I want to build 20 resource stealers goblins whatever the heck they are you know you wait nine minutes ten minutes those are that's real time I right? you know you really would have would need to stay ten minutes in here so you have those campaigns you can fight in and you also have a way to play against uh, other to attack other players but again if you do that you lose your troops and then you have to start over so to me this is basically just a game where they're trying to get money from you because there's uh, the 
part about waiting to get more uh, resources, diamonds, or have buildings finished without paying real money, it severely deteriorates the gameplay because there's nothing you could actually do. They could have done this smoother, you know, by disallowing you to f combat other players if you don't have enough diamonds or whatever, or pay diamonds for those battles and leave you to play the game by itself. But the way they've done it now, it just, you know, you log in once a day, you play for five minutes because you can only play in a fight and pretty much that's it. And <clears throat> there's, there's nothing more until the next day, and so on. They have a lot of cool things here, but you need to update your buildings, and you have to wait a lot until you collect a lot of resources, until you've got upgraded. The thing is that it starts very, uh, very easy, the game. Because in the first, I believe, you couple of hours, you can advance a lot. But after that, it's just a game of pay to play, or otherwise wait until you. The game doesn't have any charm anymore. To me, it's a disappointment. I mean, Clash of Clans is a disappointment. I would have expected for them to have a different view, but you know, it's seems to be the type of company where uh, money matters more than having engaged users. Other than that, yeah, there's also the multiplayer part where you fight against, I mean, you you attack other players that are not online. You cannot attack one that's online. So you attack other players, you steal their resources, and then if you destroy them, their uh, shield will be enabled and for like 12 hours or 14 hours or so they will uh, be protected. Here's a replay of uh, how I was attacked just for the fun of it. So they come in, they destroy your uh, village and then for a lot of hours from 12 hours to 16 hours you cannot be attacked anymore until your buildings start to regenerate. And while that happens, nothing gets produced, you know. You lose your gold, you lose everything, so you have to start over. And that's, that adds to the frustration, even if it's a multiplayer game and I understand fights, and I'll actually show you one, it's still very annoying that you, they, they force you to buy something to enjoy the gameplay otherwise it doesn't have any charm I'll show you how a fight looks like you can uh, be picky and <laughs> and choose whatever you want to fight against you know if it's something that seems very tough you can avoid it because it's a, a fight now and another one in a couple of hours because you don't have enough resources to continue, so you have to pick very carefully against who you're gonna fight. This seems like a good target, so let's see this. You're gonna, I'm gonna draw, deploy everything I have. Or actually, not everything, but these are the resource stealers. And you also have some giants that you can deploy and they will destroy more. Unfortunately you cannot do it very fast. Yeah, I'm actually very disappointed in Clash of Clans. I would have expected for it to be more uh, friendly with hardcore gamers because uh, it's one thing to come in once a day and just play five minutes and that's it, you know, have a fight. And another thing to be engaged for more than that. But I guess they've done their math and they know what's best for them. And revenues from this game matter more than engaged users. For this fact, I actually recommend you to try other games. There are there are now games that let you learn a language like Duolingo is which is awesome because you can play and actually also uh, learn something at the same time 
There's also uh, online apps like Code Academy where you can learn something useful. And you know, <laughs> I guess once a day when you're tired of that much learning, you can log into Clash of Clans and play two more minutes, and then that, that's how long a battle actually takes two minutes. And then that's it. Move to the next. Oh, I forgot one thing. Clash of Clans, you also have a clan, so you can be part of a clan, and then clans can start wars against other clans so there's some fights you can have there but in each war you can have uh, uh, you, you, you can have a maximum of uh, two fights so uh, it's not very encouraging it's not like you can fight all day I guess it has its clientele but to me it's disappointing and I can tell you I spent like, I don't know, a lot of days to try to understand this game better and, well, yeah, I'll just pass it. It's not something for me, that's for sure. See, now that uh, the game finished, the match finished, it finished, I, all my troops were expanded and even if some survive, you don't get them back. So that you can build some more and then wait some more and so on. That's it. If you have any comments and you disagree with me, just feel free to tell me why because I don't understand how Clash of Clans is actually a good game. I didn't like it. Thank you for watching.